I've been getting a lot of questions lately about being a good podcast host. So today I'm going to share with you four tips on how you can be a better podcast host during your podcast interviews. So let's get right to it. Hey y'all, Crystal here today, and I'm going to share with you how you can be a good podcast host, or if you've already been podcasting for a while and you've been doing guest interviews and you've had people on your show, I'm going to show you four tips that have helped me become a better podcast host. So the first one I want to share with you is number one, have a clear topic in mind. It makes me a little cringy whenever people say, well, we can just wing it. We'll just see what happens. Don't get me wrong. There have been several occasions where I have an interview and we say, okay, we'll just kind of see where the conversation goes. But I never, never start a podcast interview without a clear topic in mind. So here is a perfect example. I have had one particular guest on my show a few times, and this is May Kay saying, and she talks all about guesting on podcast. And we've sat down and we're like, okay, what do we actually wanna get out of this podcast episode? And she'll share her ideas, I share mine, and we kinda of come to the same conclusion of this is the topic we specifically wanna talk about during this podcast episode. So that's what I want you to do. I'm not saying that you have to have like everything ironed out and everything set in stone for what you're gonna talk about on your episode, but I do think you need to have at least one clear topic in mind because, and I've said this before, you have to have one specific takeaway that every single episode is going to have. So when it comes to your podcast interviews, you wanna make sure that you stick to one clear topic. The second tip that I have for you is to manage your guest expectations. So there is nothing more frustrating than going on to a podcast episode and you have one expectation as the podcast host and your guest has another expectation totally in mind. So I'll give you a great example. My podcast interviews typically last between 30 and 45 minutes. Sometimes we go a little bit over, sometimes we go a little bit under, but that's generally how long the podcast episodes are. But how frustrating would it be if someone came onto my show with the expectation that this was gonna be a two hour conversation? Do you see the difference there? The expectation versus reality is very, very different. So what I suggest people do is they have a sort of podcast guidelines that they put together that they can send to their guest. I have some, you can actually go download a copy of my podcast show guidelines. I'm gonna have a video or a link in the video description so you can go check those out. But what this is, is it kind of tells people, hey, this is who I am as a podcast host. This is what my podcast is about and this is what you can expect. My interviews tend to run about this, around this length of time. This is how we get connected. This is where you can send your information. And this is actually what to expect on the day of your podcast interview. This really sets the interview up for success because they know what to expect. I know what's gonna happen. And then if they have any questions on the day of, the either the show guidelines have kind of given them a place like a jumping off point where, oh, that makes sense, but I still have a question about this. It's just a lot, like these are most of the time, it's the same questions that everybody has. So that's what I did is I put some of the most commonly asked questions and put them into my show guidelines. I answered them and then I send those to all of my guests to ease their, because most people are tense, right? Like most people are like, this is my first podcast interview. They get a little weird. They're like squirrely, like what's actually happening? What, what can I expect? It helps them feel more confident in your conversation and you're going to have a better podcast interview whenever you can manage those guest expectations. The third tip that I have for you today is please, please do not interrupt your guest. This is a pet peeve of mine. And I don't know if this comes from being a mom of three boys and trying to teach the manners about not interrupting all the time, but this has really become a pet peeve of mine. So please, 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 whenever you are interviewing someone, let them talk, let them talk. Do not continue to interrupt them and say, oh, that's a great point. Oh yes, I totally get it. I think the occasional, yeah, I agree with you, okay. 
kind of those leading words that just kind of show that you're still there, you're engaged in the conversation, those are okay. I'm talking about whenever someone is making a point, you constantly interrupt them. I think that that's so rude and I just don't, it's not something that I prefer to listen to as a podcast listener. And I don't think that my audience appreciates it either. I think that they see it as rude as well. So please, 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 for all that is holy, do not interrupt your guest. Please just don't do it. Don't do it. Just make it a habit that it is not going to happen on your podcast. So let me know in the comments below if you are doing podcast interviews for your podcast. Are you just getting started? Are you thinking about adding interviews into the mix? Do you have an interview only show? Or are you a solo podcaster thinking about starting to do interviews? Let me know in the comments what you're up to. Okay, let's get back to the video. And the fourth tip that I wanna share with you today is letting your guest promote on your podcast because most likely they have come onto your show to add some value to your audience, maybe bring some insight or some tips or a story or something that's going to have a major takeaway for your podcast listener. So the very least that we can do as good podcast host is to let them promote something on their on your show, whether it's follow me on social media or check out my website, check out my offering, check out my product, check out this free download that I have, whatever it is. I always let my guests know that it is expected that they promote themselves at the end of the show. Now, there are a few different ways that you can do this, um, especially if you know you get caught up in the conversation and they forget to mention that they have something of value. I think it's your job as the host to remind them, didn't you have something fun to share with our audience today? Or what was that thing that you're working on? Can we hear a little bit more about it? I think that that really helps the experience. Again, going back to managing expectations, I'm pretty sure that whoever is coming onto your show expects a little bit of promotion, whether it's you actually promoting the podcast once it's aired, but still within the time frame that you have of the podcast episode, give them a little shout out, give them some love and say, what are you working on? Like, what can where can our audience go to find more about you and what you're up to? I think that that's just something that helps us become better podcast hosts and makes the overall experience for everyone involved, the listener, the host, the person doing the interview with you, your guest, I think that it just increases everybody's experience and makes it so much more enjoyable. So those are my four tips today on how to be a better podcast host. But that does it for today. So I hope that you found this helpful. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below. That way you don't miss any future podcasting videos that we put out every single week. Check out these videos right here that we've already put out. And like I said, we put these out every single week. It is so much fun for me. There's lots of tips and strategies, tutorials, how to's. There's all kinds of things that you can go check out. But remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.